Let's get started. Today, I want to teach you something important. In today's lesson, I want you to keep in mind that improving your oral communication skills, aka speaking, is possible. That's why I want to talk to you about fluency. Just keep it in mind. Fluency is not about speaking fast. It's about communicating your ideas, making sure you'll have the right vocabulary for the topic you need to express or you have the right pronunciation and the right coherence. And stay tuned because I am going to teach you one single strategy and I have called this strategy the WH question strategy. Let's go to the whiteboard. Do you play sports? The problem that I have seen in previous students is that they answer these type of questions based on their grammar abilities based on what they have learned from other teachers based on what you have learned from books and i'm pretty sure that the answer you will give to this question is yes i do or the opposite no i don't however something that i want you to keep in mind is that it's about communicating your ideas and that's why I have created this strategy. The strategy name is the WH questions. Do you remember the WH questions? Pretty simple, isn't it? So we have what, where, when, who, why? As you can see, there are five WH questions. So going back to the question, do you play sports? What we need to do is to answer these questions based on the principal question, which is, do you play sports? Let's go ahead and answer every single of them. What? Let's say basketball. Where? Let's say at the park. When? Let's say every Saturday. Who? Let's say with my friends. Oops, let me change. Why? Because it's fun. As you can see, if you follow this pattern, it will be much better than just answering a grammar answer. So next time a examiner asks you the question, do you play sports? Your answer will be something like this. I love playing basketball at the park every Saturday with my friends because it's fun. You see how easy it is communicating your ideas? I hope you have learned something new in this lesson. And one more thing, I just want you to know that this is only the tip of the iceberg because I have more strategies for you to improve your oral communication. Nice to meet you. My name is Nestor and I have helped hundreds of students for the last four years in speaking. So if you would like to have this opportunity, improving your speaking skills, the only thing you need to do is start booking lessons with teacher Nestor here at the best place online where you can start learning, improving and acquiring better language skills. By the way, in our next lesson, I am going to teach you a strategy on how to improve your vocabulary and your pronunciation. Start booking now. Just for the records, I'm the best teacher you can get today. Hey, before you go, did I mention that I love coffee and surfing? I hope to see you next time.